Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you may be watching. In this video, <coughs> I'd like to explain and show you how you can increase the efficiency and effectiveness of your VLOOKUP files by using linking. It's quite simple and I'm sure if you follow carefully, pause where you need to, you will certainly understand what's happening. So in this video we have three worksheets down here, the student results, that is the data we see at the moment, a student report where I can see <coughs> that there is various text available to me for the student back in the student results whose results I'm looking up. I also have a tab for other uses uh, for situations that you might like to try yourself after studying this upload uh, for situations that may be more relevant to your own uses. So let's go back to the student results back here and look at the formulas in this VLOOKUP situation. First of all I'm looking up John. He is in D13. His name is in D13. So in the formula here for the maths, in the formula bar, I see I'm looking up what's in D13 in the set of data C4 to H11. And I'm looking in column 3 because column 3 has the maths results. I've used the word false because the data is not in ascending alphabetical order. This formula looks at column 4. The rest of the formula is exactly the same. This formula uses column 5 and this formula uses column 6. Now we'll notice that I have a hyperlink here, see the student report and this will show me the student report for John and when I go to that uh, uh, worksheet I see John John excels at mathematics and is an attentive student. Let's say that I go back to the student results and look at Graham. There are Graham's results, but in the student report I see that I'm now seeing Graham. Graham is a conscientious boy, needs more work on his chemistry. So this type of text, which would be quite elongated, uh, back in the uh, student results, I've simply put on another sheet and then linked this name by clicking on it, clicking on that cell, and I've typed an equal sign. Then I've gone back to the student results and pressed enter. That's all I had to do there. And it said, look at the student results in cell D13 and insert that name into that cell. In this cell I've typed a VLOOKUP. Look up what's in D11, that is Graham. Look in this particular set of data and look in column 3 and column 3 is the column that has the text in it. Again I use the word false because this data is not in ascending alphabetical order. Back to student results here and we'll try one more for old time's sake. We'll look up Shelley and when I press enter there are Shelley's results 88, 96, 96 and 78 from that data there. Incident <coughs> incidentally, excuse me, if you're not quite certain about uh, how to construct these formulas. I'll put a link in the description to a video on my YouTube channel which will explain in far more detail how that particular situation can be handled. So that's all there is to it. Remember here in the student report what I did in this cell was to use an equal sign to link back to the student results and look in cell D13 because that's the 
cell that contains the name in the student results. Now what I also like to do for presentation's sake is to drag down through those rows and when I right click I hide the contents. That I believe presents the results in a, uh, a more uh, professional fashion and I don't see all the other uh, garbage that uh, <laughs> that I typed in. So if I want to bring the cells back I simply drag through the cells that I've hidden right click and unhide and there we see I can go back and make any adjustments that I might need to make in the text itself. So we're going to hide those again and we just see Shelley at this stage. Remember the other uses, uh, think about it works extremely well for HR department records, hobbies such as stamp collections, uh, but think about giving each stamp a code because when you give each item a code, also in photograph collections, uh, it makes VLOOKUP easier to construct and use. So just, just keep a list of the codes that relate to whatever uh, subject matter and also works extremely well for stocks and shares. Okay, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to present this to you. Any questions that you might have, uh, please use the comments in the, uh, in the video. And uh, thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.